Today on the channel, it's a return to the Kyle Peterson Top 5, and in today's countdown, we're counting down my Top 5 WWE Mattel Elite King figures of all time. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, a Thursday tradition here on the channel where every single Thursday we're counting down my top 5 or my top 10 favorites of something. In today's video, we're counting down my WWE Mattel Elite favorite king figures of all time. And of course, we've had a lot of king figures over the years, and at first I was going to say just king figures. But I'm like, man, oh man, we've had a ton from Jax, we had a ton from Mattel, and we've had a few sprinkled in in other toy lines as well. So I just said, you know what, I'm going to keep this one a little easier. I'm just going to go to the top five King Mattel figures. Maybe down the line I'll do top five Jax King figures, and then we'll kind of see where it goes from there. Maybe do a combined one down the road. But this one is a lot tougher than I thought it would be. I had a couple of extra figures over the edge, and I was like, gosh, there's been a pretty good amount of King figures from the WWE Mattel Elite line and a lot of cool stuff that we're going to count it down. And of course, we're going to count it down from number five to number one. Make sure you put your list in the comments down below. As usual, this is my list, so make sure you do put yours down below and make sure you put them in order. That is the fun part. That is the hard part. But we're going to do something special here today. As usually, we don't have an honorable mention, but I wanted to honorably mention this one here as this is a character and an action figure, a character of an action figure that doesn't get a lot of praise and a lot of people kind of gloss over him, aren't big fans of him. And by no means am I a huge fan either, but I really did like this figure then and I really did like this one now just outside of the top five for me but an interesting figure what is it it is the elite 83 King Corbin yes Baron Corbin not everybody's favorite wrestler of course currently in NXT right now but he's had some pretty good figures over the years we got to admit it I really like that last one a couple series ago was that elite 99 98 what is time? What is Elite Series? But it was a two-in-one Corbin figure. I really like that figure as well. But this one is really cool. And like I said, Baron Corbin, not an all-time favorite of mine or anything. But just the look of this one with the plastic cape. I love the different crown and the different kind of scepter here. And then the very minimalistic black outfit underneath. Just a very striking figure when you look at it just as a figure, not the whole kit and caboodle there. So wanted to have this as a little bit of an honorable mention here in the top five. But now... Let's get down to it. Let's get down to the traditional top five king figures of all time WWE Mattel version. Ooh, yeah, we kick it off at number five. And who is the number five king figure in my countdown? Well, of course, it's the Macho King, Randy Savage. We all remember the Macho King days. Really a renaissance of the Macho Man's career. And I don't know if he really needed a renaissance at the time. But definitely felt different from the prior versions of Macho Man. And definitely a most hated heel at the time. I'll never forget that Royal Rumble. What he did to the Ultimate Warrior. How dare he? How dare he? dare he but anyways this figure looking at that aside really do like this figure here and this is the most recent i believe macho man figure from mattel as we do know macho man's on ice right now negotiations i guarantee you negotiations are going back and forth right now between mattel and the macho man estate there's too much money on the table they will come to an agreement and i guarantee the minute they hit that agreement we'll get an announcement of that ultimate edition macho shipping out because there's too much money on the table for both sides to let macho man just be i do think they will come to terms because at the end of the day uh some money better than no money that's the way that's uh, what i've always found at least but this macho man came in the wrestlemania build a figure wave of course uh in the elite line an all-timer it's an interesting one a little bit plain jane there's no big crazy robe anything like that you just get the crown the glasses the scepter but you get the wild 90s colors which we're here for we love these wild 90s colors and we've got a few different macho kings we might see another macho king in this very video so stay tuned for that but this one maybe it's a little recency biased i'm not exactly sure but i really do like this one here and that's why it's coming in at number five in my top five countdown 
All right, next up, we're at the number four spot in our top five Mattel Elite King figures of all time countdown. And this one comes to us from WWE Mattel Elite Series 82. Who is it? Well, it is Jerry the King Lawler. New generation Lawler, I guess we'll call this. This isn't classic Memphis Lawler. This is more new generation feuding with Bret Hart, Jerry the King Lawler. But man, oh man, an all-timer of a figure here. A beautiful cape that would make Lando Calrissian blush. There's no doubt about it. A very cool specific crown. And then, of course, Jerry Lawler in some amazing uh, singlet and tights. Absolutely love the detail on these singlet tights here. Uh, and then, of course, the crowns on the boots. Just an all-around, all-timer of a figure here. And really, I'm thinking about this right now now and you guys tell me in the comments who is the greatest king of all time in wrestling now i can see some people say oh it's harley race but man harley race he made his name way before he was ever a king and honestly the king era of harley race probably the worst era of harley race as far as in-ring career things like that if you really take that big step back so who truly is the greatest king was it king haku king hacksaw jim duggan king corbin king jerry the king lawler i guess me sitting here right now jerry the king lawler is the greatest king of wrestling at the end of the day what he did never having to really leave the memphis keeping people on their toes week in week out not being a hulk hogan or even a rick flair type personality just being himself and resonating with the people to me he is the all-time king of wrestling but you know it's all subjective it depends what you feel and what you like but to me i think just thinking through right now it's got to be jerry the king lawler he was the king pretty much his entire career uh, there's a lot to be said about that one and this one of course was when he was introduced to a whole new generation of fans as far as the wwf who people didn't know him from his time before to a lot of people this is the first time they ever saw jerry the king lawler if you can imagine that so very very good one right here that's why it's it's coming in at number four in my top five list. You've hit the halfway point in the top five countdown. Do you got your list together? Make sure you put it in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this very YouTube channel. As every single Thursday on the channel, we're doing a countdown of some kind. A top five or a top ten on specific subscriber milestones. So make sure you do subscribe. Make sure you do stay tuned. So here it is. We're at the number three spot. Number three, we go to the WWE Mattel Elite Legends line. But we throw it all the way back to Ringside Collectibles. Good friends of the channel. Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. For the Legend Ringside Collectible exclusive, Macho King Randy Savage. An absolute all-timer of a figure. And a figure for about the last two years, I said, oh, I bet you. My, I, my guess is next year, I always do my prediction. What are we going to have next year? For the last two years, I've said, oh, they're going to make an ultimate version of this Macho King Randy Savage. Well, I've been wrong for two years, and if I make it again, it'd probably be wrong for three years, as currently they're not making Macho Man, as we talked about earlier. So, who knows? Who knows? But I gotta believe one of these days we'll get an ultimate version of this figure, or a re-release of this figure. Figure. This is a very pricey figure, a very hard to find figure all these years later, but an all timer of a figure here, and that's why it's at number three on the list right here as well. You got the crown, you got the scepter, you got the soft goods robe, you got a little bit of that flair hanging off of there. Definitely looking good, definitely Macho King, and po possibly his most iconic Macho King outfit in a lot of ways. Definitely a good figure. No, no, definitely a great figure, and that's why it's number three in my top five list. Interestingly close to the top spot, we're at the number two King Mattel Elite figure of all time as voted by me. And number two, probably going to be number one on a lot of people's list. And I understand that. And when they think of King, this could be the King they think about at the end of the day. And we talked about it a little bit earlier. Who is it? It is Harley Race. King Harley Race. Of course, you've got the flashback Walmart exclusive from back in the day, the one that Harley Hysteria hit with. And it's crazy how many people had the Harley Hysteria uh, because it did get canceled. It is very short packed. It's one of those ones that'll go down as the stories of the Elite line is one of the biggest stories. I'd say Chief J Strongbow's another one, Series 1 Jeff Hardy, and probably all the Ultimate Warriors. Everybody wants to talk about the Ultimate Warriors, of course, at the end of the day. But Harley Race was later released in the Greatest Hits line as well. Uh, currently out there right now, if you're looking at it, actually hitting Walmarts as we're speaking right now. Uh, but I did put two different ones here. I have both figures. This is the flashback. This is the greatest hits. I did go to Threadheads, and I did get a nice little uh, cape for him, a soft goods cape, to make him feel just a little bit different here. They're very similar figures, as we do know. 
But an all-timer is Harley Race. Like I said earlier, though, I think he's more well-known for his NWA championship run all the years up and down the miles there for the NWA than his somewhat brief wrestling run in the WWE, WWF back in the day. Definitely the king of wrestling at the time, but really at the tail end of his career. Uh, but definitely an interesting time. And it's funny how people probably would say he's the greatest king of all time, which... I wouldn't say that. I just wouldn't say that. But as far as figures go, man, he's right up there at the top. I fully expect one of these days in the Coliseum collection, as long as they have rights to Harley Race, we'll get an ultimate Harley Race, and I think they'll give him that short jacket instead. I can see that happening, so we'll see if that does happen. Maybe in 2024. Who knows? Who knows? But definitely an all-timer. Definitely one that had a lot of hysteria around it. Definitely one a lot of people wanted in their collection, and that's why he's coming in for me. At number two in my top five list, which leads us just one left. Who is it? Stay tuned. Here we are at the number one king figure of all time, of course, in the Mattel Elite line. Once again, do you get your list together? Put it in the comments down below and make sure you put it in order. That's the hard part. That is the fun part, of course. And while you're here, make sure you subscribe to this very YouTube channel. Give it the old thumbs up, all that kind of fun stuff we always tell you to do here on the channel. But the number one for me was an easy decision. It stayed an easy decision, and it was number one. And for me, this is my favorite Mattel Elite King figure of all time. And where do we go? Well, we go to Target. We do a Target run and done, and we go to the old school Hall of Fame Target line, for Jerry the King Lawler once again, making a second appearance on this countdown here. And this is the all-time Jerry the King Lawler. This is about the first time I think little Kyle ever saw Jerry the King Lawler. And then he, of course, went back, watched many, many a tape, VHS stuff, things like that. But definitely Jerry Lawler. Uh, I think this is around the time the AWA title run he did have, of course. But Jerry the King Lawler, he always looked the best to me with that beautiful uh, goatee he had down here. I always loved that look. I loved the time frame when he had that. I loved it when he fought Andy Kaufman, of course. We've talked about that numerous times on the channel here. Just world beater Jerry the King Lawler, a guy that once again wasn't Ric Flair, wasn't Hulk Hogan, wasn't Macho Man, wasn't the ultimate warrior. He wasn't super huger, larger than life. He was just an every man out there and he was taking it to the streets, taking it to the ring, beating everybody, slapping on the pile driver, doing that kind of stuff and then talking them in the building. If you weren't around it, you didn't follow it at the time, I could see how all these years later, I don't understand how Jerry Lawler was big. It kind of like Bill Dundee at the same time, Superstar Bill Dundee or one of my all-time favorites, Eric Embry. As a little kid, for whatever it was, I could put away disbelief of the Ultimate Warriors, the Hulk Hogan's, the Ric Flair's, the Sting's, the Road Warriors, and I could get behind these guys. So there's something special about that all these years later, and there's something special about the memories this Jerry the King Lawler figure uh, brings back into my little head watching VHS tapes and things like that. So easy selection for me at number one might be controversial might not be on a lot of people's list but that's the beauty of this video it's my list put your list in the comments down below and of course as i said make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell because we got videos every single day and then some and we've got even more content for you of course on patreon your best way to support the channel check that out over there your best way to support the channel and you can also support channel pressingtees.com search kyle peterson and don't forget social media sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram so for the top five mattel elite king figures of all time i am kyle see you guys all real soon